So uh, the, the presentation is titled Mapping the Chata. What does this mean? It means that we'd like, uh, it's um, something, a novel visualization technique for dynamic topping modeling. So what is topping modeling, first of all? It's a natural language processing technique. Oh, right, it's a problem area, right? Um, in which the, some algorithms are used to determine what a text is about, what is its topic, or a mixture of topics in case of uh, longer documents. Now, we apply this to social media posts, which are very short. So basically, it's what people are talking about in the, in the social media modern piazza. To do this, we have to collect um, many social media posts, then we use an algorithm to determine what each post is about, and then you, we cluster them in order to determine the topics and the popularity of every topic. So this is what we do at the Australian Digital Observatory, um, which is a project uh, jointly um, uh, funded by the University of Melbourne, University of uh, Technology University of Queensland, and some other um, entities. We collect 400,000 social media posts, mainly from Twitter, but also YouTube, Flickr, and stuff like that, uh, every day um, about Australia. So um, from Australians or uh, from people that um, are living in Australia uh, at the moment. So we have collected 121 million posts so far. Mm -hmm. We store them in a cluster database. Every night, there is a topic modeling algorithm that runs through those data. The, it's a mach deep learning um, algorithm based on uh, Google birth uh, language model. And then we determine the topics. And we cluster them. Now, there is one small problem, though. How do you visualize these topics? Because every topic is a vector of 384 uh, in, a, in 384 dimensions, which means that unless you are a spacing guild uh, navigator, you cannot conceptualize that. Traditionally, this has been the, the, the visualization, visualization use. So um, you reduce the number of uh, dimensions from 384 to two, and then you plot them. So every circle is a topic, and the size of the circle is the popularity, so the social media posts number of the specific topic. And you do it for every day. Now, it's simple enough. The problem is when you have dynamic topic modeling, so you want to see the evolution through time, then it's more complicated because you need to have so many plots uh, to look at. So we thought about doing something different. So to use a special metaphor. So on the x-axis, you have time. On the y-axis, you have the distance between topics, semantic distance, OK? So a topic on uh, the uh, Russian-Ukrainian war will be, say, closer to a topic of uh, the Ukrainian economy than to one on the US economy, for instance. So and then you have the z, which is the topic popularity, so the number of uh, social media posts for that topic for the day. You have then a, um, a, a point cloud, basically. You drape, sorry, not you drape. You interpolate that with a 3D continuous surface. And then you have something that resembles uh, a physical landscape. So for instance, this is a ridge of Batman. So that's the, the, the that over there is the, the lead up to the release of the Batman, the movie. And you see these topics over there, the book chapter writer, the one on the ridge is movie, Batman. These are the top terms, yep. So if you look a little bit, that's at the beginning of March. You see here, this is the mask, we call it the mask peak, because apparently Elon Musk tweeted about his, uh, buying, his buying of, uh, of Twitter. And you see uh, tweet, Twitter tweet, that topic, social media, at the bump of popularity. And you see over there the ridge of Batman. And how we do it? How did we do it? We reduce the dimensionality from 384 to 1 in, using UMAP, then use a, a kernel density estimator for the surface, 
And then we use QGIS to, to do the visualization using QGIS 3GIS. And that's all. Thank you.